Welcome watchers to my review of 2019. As I sit here in the comfort of Extronical Towers, I will reflect on the good, the bad and the ugly of my channel during 2019. I'll mention my favourite projects, most popular, the ones that I think were, well, just turned out to be a bit shit. I'll look at some of the stats of the channel I'll look at what I think I need to do for the next year to improve the viewing experience and also make it as much fun for me as possible. So let's open a flagon of beer, warm ourselves by our virtual fire and dive right in. No, no, not that type of diving. I meant the, um, uh, whatever. The intro's spoiled now. Roll the titles, Winston. Is that it? <sighs> Let's start off with a quick look at what I wanted for the channel last year and by the magic of Merlin, it shall appear. By the way, links for any videos will be in the description if you really want to watch the full video for anything I show here. For this year, I wanted to get more content out. In 2018, I released 31 videos and in 2019, it was 34. So, technically, it was more, but yeah, not a great gain. In all honesty, I think it will be a similar figure this year, unless I fit in more basics videos, and less project videos. We'll see how that goes. So, what was my favourite video of this year, slash project this year? It was the Star Trek sick bay, using the real readings from your own body. It was fun to do code and actually put the video together and this effort was rewarded when it featured on Hackaday boosting its views and increasing my subs count substantially. It actually was in development on and off for probably around about six months or so maybe a little bit longer. But what was your favourite? This can be measured in several ways the number of views, the percentage watch time or the likes to dislikes ratio Number of views can be skewed by videos being promoted, such as the Star Trek one I just mentioned. Also, obviously, older videos back in January might have had time to gain more views than videos I just released a month or so ago. So I've come up with an imperfect algorithm. So, firstly, to be in this list, a video must have the highest like to dislike video. If there is a tie after that, then the percentage watch time will be included. If that's still a tie, then the number of views will decide the winner. With all that said, the most popular viewer video was the Lego plus Arduino video number one. This is when I was sort of like matching up Arduinos with Lego with server motors and motors and various things. Second was a Star Trek video, so that almost made it. The most popular video published by views in 2019, whether you think this is a good measure or not, was actually measuring pulse and blood oxygen levels on an Arduino, and that got 5,855 views. But of course, all the projects that are not as old, videos that are not as old, I've had time to get the views, so, you know, not a perfect measure at all. But the most popular video of all in 2019, from all the videos I've ever made, was a video made back in 2017. Again, it can be skewed by the age, but for this video, this has always performed way and above any other video, and it constantly always performs well, week in, week out. And that was the Heart Pulse Trace Project, which had 31,988 views as I go to press with this video. It's held that top spot almost since it was published. Always, every month, the most highest ranked video ever. So what was my least favourite video slash project to do? of 2019. Well, it was actually my latest one, the weather centre. It was a combination of a busy time at work, work-wise, which meant it took forever to complete the coding and the work, plus the coding was more extensive than I had envisaged at first. And then, I don't think I really liked the finished video, it seemed cumbersome, and I don't think it flowed that well. 
So the finished project itself, I'm fine with. In fact, I use it it's on one of my cupboards. It's just all the effort in creating and then in the post-production made it all a drag. As for what was least popular with you lot, well, based on the like to dislike video, it was the unboxing slash overview of the Tinker Kit for the BBC Microbit. So that's it for another year. I have really enjoyed it all. I am still really enjoying doing this. But I wouldn't do any of it without the videos actually being watched. So thanks very much for that. What do I want for 2020? Well, again, more content out. If I can, to increase subs by another thousand in the next year. And to complete some projects that were actually started in 2019. Projects that you don't know about, I've got quite a few that have been sort of half started or even some I've had videos on that still need finishing off. That's all for now. Thanks for liking or subbing if you have done and for staying with me all this last year. And above all, whoever you are, thanks very much for watching and I hope you have a really brilliant and happy 2020. Cheerio for now.